everybody, it's me, Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day so far because today we are going to learn how to knit this. And this is called the little tent stitch. And it may look complicated, but I promise you it's just knits and pearls with a little technique in there in the middle. It's not that hard. Um, it's great practice for the beginner. I encourage everyone to try this stitch out. Before we get into today's video though, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, there'll be a link in the description below. Also, in the description below is a link to my private Facebook group called Knit, Crochet, and Craft. And it's a place where you can go, you can post pictures, you can ask questions, and no one in your friends list will know what you're doing because it is private. So if you're working on gifts or you just have a question about something you're working on as a gift, it's a great place to go. So check that out too. Like I said, it'll be in the description below as well. So let's get started with this, the little tent stitch. It's not that complicated, I promise. This is the front. This is the back. Back don't even look that bad, really. It looks kind of textured and has a little detail, so I kind of like the back also. But we are going to get into this, so grab your yarn, grab your needles, and let's go. Okay, here I've already cast on the stitches I'm going to be using. Um, it's in multiples of 8 plus 1, so what that means is you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, as many times as you want, and at the very end, you add your 1. So, I've already done that here. I have 17 stitches, and we're going to go with row 1. This is only a 4-row repeat. Like I said, just knits and purls will get through it. All right, row 1 is knit 2. We're going to start off with a knit 2. So let me bring you guys in. A little close, you guys can really see what I'm doing here. I went with green yarn. I don't know the good color to use that shows up best on video that you guys like the best. So if you have any suggestions on what color yarn I should be using, let me know in the comments, please. All right, so we're going to knit two. One, two. Now we're going to purl five. So we're gonna bring our working yarn to the front and we're going to purl five. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to knit three. So one, two, three. And now we're going to purl five. That's kind of the repeat. It starts out with a knit two, purl five, knit three, purl five, knit three, purl five. Until we get to the end, then I'll show you. So we're going to purl our five. That was one, two, three, four, and five. And then at the very end, we should have two stitches remaining, so we're just going to knit those two. One and two. Okay, that was row one. Row two, we are going to start with a knit two. So, knit the first two. And then we're going to slip five, and it's the same five that we purled on the other side, so they're going to look like, you can always tell the difference between when you have to purl or knit a stitch. Um, these look like we should be knitting them next, so you can really, I really want to show you guys what I'm talking about here. If you can see, here are the ones we knit on the opposite side, they have the purl bump on this row, and here are the ones that we purled. They look like they should be knit next if we were doing a stockinette stitch. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to slip those. And we're going to slip with our yarn in the front. So we're going to take our working yarn and we're going to bring it up front. And now we're going to slip all five. So one, two, and I'm slipping purl-wise. So I'm taking my yarn going to the front and slipping off three, 
four, and five. Now, you want to take your working yarn and you want to put it back in the back. But you don't want these stitches to be all bunched up like that. So what I like to do is I like to just even them out a little bit. Take my working yarn, put it in the back. And you don't want to pull too tight. You just want to kind of, you want the yarn to lay nicely and evenly over those five stitches you just slipped. Okay, now you want to knit three. So, put our yarn in the back, or put our yarn through the next stitch, and knit the next three. So one, two, and three. And again, we're going to slip the next five. So we're gonna take our working yarn, put it up front, because we're slipping with yarn in front, and we're going to slip these next five stitches purl-wise. One, two, three, four, and five. I like to stretch my stitches out a little bit. Make sure they're not too bunched up. Take my working yarn, put it back in the back, but I don't want to scrunch those stitches, so I'm just going to let them lay nice and flat and even. And then I'm going to knit the last two. One and two. Okay, that was row two. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to work on row three. Row three is the same as row one. So we're just going to start off with a knit two. One. And two. And then we're going to purl five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to knit three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to purl five again. I'm going to Zoom out just a little bit. Purl five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then we're going to knit our last two stitches. So we have one and two. Okay, that was row three. Now row four is the little magic part that gives us that little tent-like shape. So row four is very easy as well. We're gonna do it real slow. I'm actually gonna bring you guys back in close so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. We're gonna start off row four with a knit four. So we're gonna knit the first four stitches. We have one, two, three, and four. Now, for the next stitch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right needle and we're gonna go under this string that we made here. This wrap, we're gonna go underneath it, like so, we're underneath it. Now we're gonna go into this next stitch and we're going to knit it. And when we bring that working yarn through that stitch, we're actually gonna go all the way under that wrap as well and then we're gonna slide it off. I'll show you guys that again. This time, maybe I'll even do it a little, zoomed in a little more so you can really see. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to knit seven. So, try to keep this in frame. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we want to do that same thing again. You see that bar we have right here? We want to take our needle and we want to go underneath that bar. And sometimes it can be just the maneuverability is kind of awkward at first. We're going under that bar, we're going into that next stitch. We're going to knit the next stitch, but when we bring our working yarn through, we're going to actually bring it back down through that bar we went under. Do you see that? And then slide it off. 
and then we're going to knit the remaining four stitches. Okay. And that is how you do it. And you just repeat those four rows over and over again and this is what you'll have just like that it's pretty cool now when you go to bind off what I've done here is I just used a regular bind off and what I mean when I say regular bind off is you knit the first two and then you slide that first stitch over the last stitch and you just keep going in that style and you want to do it after a uh, row four so you're going to repeat rows one through four as many times as you want and instead of starting over on a row one you're just gonna bind off when you're ready and that's how you do it guys that's how you knit the little tent stitch I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do so now and if you'd like to follow me on my Facebook page and my Facebook group. The links are in the description below. Until next time guys, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day and happy knitting. Bye!